Should I sell my home first right now or should I buy my home first right now? Hey everyone, it's me, it's Tony Joe Hall. So one of the questions that we're getting a bit more often these days that we weren't getting earlier in the year is, Tony, should I sell my home first right now or should I buy my home first right now? Because what people are hearing right now is that the market is starting to level out a bit. Um, what I can tell you is this, we are still very much in a seller's market. And when people say that the market is leveling out right now, what they're really trying to say is that the foam, the steam off the market that we just came off, uh, you know, in the early part of the year, has probably decreased slightly. And we kind of expected that. Spring market's doing exactly what spring market does every year. It brings about inventory. It's bringing more options for buyers who have been starved for inventory up until this point. So now the buyers have a bit more luxury of choice, whereas in January and February, if they offered on a property, and if they lost that property, it was almost like, oh my God, that's the end of the world. But now if they lose that same property, they're pretty confident that something else is going to come up during that time. So what I can tell you is this, when we get asked that question, should I sell my home first or should I go out there and start looking for something else first? My recommendation is it's obviously going to be dependent on the type of property that you have. If you have one of these big luxury mansions, I would say maybe focus on selling that first because there are a lot less buyers for that than, for example, your average detached home in most parts of the region. So what I will tell you is this, maybe try to find something else, first of all. If you're comfortable where you're at, then take that time, go out there and see what's out there because the only time you should really be selling first is in this market is if you're uncomfortable. If, some, if there's driving factors that are pushing you to sell first. So for example, it could be a divorce, it could be debt, it could be that you, know, you really aren't getting along with your neighbor and it's becoming really bad that you're like, okay, hey, you know what? It is worth the risk of me not finding my dream home to get out of this situation. So in that case there, I would say, go out there and uh, you know, if, if you are in that type of situation, I would say then at that point, maybe consider selling first, get yourself a long closing. That gives you lots of time to go out there and find something that is more suitable for you. But if you're like most people and you don't have these external pressures, these external factors pushing you to sell first, you can be reasonably confident that your home is going to sell in this market. So what I would recommend is find out where you wanna go, find out what works as a logical strategic next step, then at that point, maybe secure that property, and then at that point, have confidence that your existing home will sell. But certainly what I would recommend is talk to the bank, first of all, to make sure that all of this is possible, and talk to a, an experienced realtor who can give you the opinion that, hey, you know what, your property will sell, and this is what you can reasonably expect. These are all important factors and why you need to trust the pro. We are professional, we're here to help you. There's tons of good realtors out there. We would love the opportunity to meet with you and talk about your needs and helping you get from one home to the next. I hope that's helpful guys. If, and as, as always, if there's anything we can help you with, reach out. Thank you.